Uh, hi. Turd again with uh, another very basic game tutorial. And, uh, I don't know, I was just gonna do one on an animation in a game like IPO used in a game engine. And, um, by hitting a key in the game. So, I guess we're just gonna keep the cue and, um, flatten it out and size it up a little bit kind of like a panel and kind of like that then we're gonna add a mesh cylinder for like a button and bring it out using the arrows and probably has to be sized down maybe even flattened a little bit okay so there's like a button that could be used um, I'm just gonna color it to make it more defined but but it doesn't matter Okay. Now, um, we're just going to make the action for this, or the IPO. So, select the cylinder, and uh, we're going to split the screen. So, go up to the top of the screen, and right, right here, and then uh, do a right click, and split area. Okay, and then you should have two screens here. Then go, into, go down into this uh, box right here. And uh, instead of three view, we want to go to uh, timeline right here. And then make sure it's at zero. Okay, now um, just to make this start off in this position, you should be at zero. And then click I lock rot right here and now that will start off in that position when the animation is played and then we're gonna go ahead 10 frames and then for the cylinder just uh, move it back into the panel just about to there and then click I lock rot so now it should look like it's getting pressed into there and that's pretty much it now we're just gonna do the logic buttons for this so go down to logic right here and add sensor controller actuator and for this one we're gonna make it a key so keyboard right there and key, uh, just spacebar. And then for the actuator, uh, we're going to go to IPO right here. And since it's 10 frames, we're going to go to make it end at 10. So go to 10 where it says end. And it should start at 1. And uh, now when you go into the game engine and play it, when you press space, the button should press. Now you can make it so um, it doesn't just play it over again if you press it again. Um, like where it says play right here, you can go to all these different options like ping pong will just um, make it more smooth and here it just uh, brings it back out and in when you press it the spacebar so any one of those you could do for a game and um, I'm just gonna do another tutorial on this later with um, involving a near sensor so when a character comes close to it uh, it's able to press the button but uh, this is pretty much it for this one that's all I wanted to show that
Yeah.